business is picking up here. The around for the puck and the stick gets into the other guy's feet. Knocked away. Right out in front. Score! Oh, the shot right there. I see him. Good shot. I love it. Say no to hugging it out with you. Give me a hug, man. Love is love. Love is love. He's not going to feel very good about that one when he goes and sits down at the bench. He was totally out of position. That led to the goal. Hey. Play resumes here as he wins the draw. He scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. The defensive team can't get control of the puck off this face-off. It ends up into the shooter's hands, and he beats the goaltender. That's picked off. Takes it across the blue line. Move to the middle! Snaps one here in the slot! Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys work hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. I'm not sure how that got into the net. That thing's bouncing all over the place. Not even really a shot. But he'll take it. It's in the net now. Intercepted. Here's a chance. Scores. Three is the magic number. And that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. This makes the coaches look smart every time. They depend on him for offense, and he delivers James time and time again. it over to Biggs. Looks to get the puck over to Martinick. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. Ray, more shots generally translates to more scoring opportunities. In this case, more goals. You need to finish at the end of the day, but if you have more shots, a lot of people feel that's a really good marker for the game. More territorial play in the offensive zone. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.